Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. In this one today, I'm going to be showing you how you can transition from the third person camera into the first person camera with just one click of a button. It's a fairly simple tutorial, so grab a coffee and let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to start out in the third person template. You can start out in whatever project you want, but I'm going to use the third person one just for the sake of the tutorial. We're going to disable the starter content and we're going to get going. So here we are in the default third person template map and we've not made any changes as you can see so we've just started the level and let's just open the content browser by clicking control and space go to content third person inputs and go to imc now we're going to click this little drop down here click the plus to add a mapping and we're going to select input action this is going to be called ia underscore camera switch and we're going to be using this to switch between the two cameras in our scene so we'll assign a key to this and this key is going to be whichever key you want to use to switch the camera. I'm going to use V for the sake of the tutorial, but you can choose whatever you want. And if we go back to the third person and BP third person character, open up this, make sure we're on the event graph tab. And if we right click and search IA underscore camera, we should come up with this IA camera switch just like this. This is the input we just created. So whenever we press the V key on our screen, it'll do something. And I'm just going to demonstrate this by showing you a little print string just to make it make a little bit more sense. So when we press V on our keyboard, it should print switch camera like this. Now, the reason it's doing it multiple times is because we've got it in triggered. If we just put it to started and press play, it'll only fire off the code once, which is what we want. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag out a start and search for flip flop because in essence, this is what we're gonna be using. But we're gonna use a branch to do the flip flop and I will explain a little bit better when we actually get to that part. So I'm just gonna rename this one first person camera for the first string, that's A. So that's the first time we press it. And then the second time we press it, it'll come out the B value and we'll go to third person camera. I just wanna show you how this basically works. It like switches between each line of code every single time. So if I press it once, first person, third person, third person, like whatever, yeah, it'll just alternate between them. So now this is where we're gonna put our code, but we actually don't need this. So we can actually just unhook all this and move it out of the way. So now let's just select our follow camera and rename this third person camera, just so we don't get messed up and stuff. And we're just gonna duplicate this by right clicking, clicking duplicate, and we're gonna rename this one first person camera. Cause we will need a reference to both of these in the event graph. So it's easier to rename them and not get mixed up. Let's just drag the first person camera on top of the mesh. And as you can see, it's still made no difference because we haven't actually told it to do anything yet. Let's just have a look where our first person camera is and it has actually been duplicated so it'll be in the exact same spot as the other one. So let's just zero out all the location and rotation and click this little folder icon here, search head. And we're gonna parent it to the player's head. That's why we made it a child of the mesh. Now if we just rotate it by 90 degrees, like this, and 90 degrees just like this, we get a general location. Now we press space on your keyboard, just drag it forward a little bit, and maybe a little bit more. I might turn the snapping down a little bit, just like here, click five, move it up a little bit, and I think that looks pretty good. So they're my values, you can copy them if you want. And now if we click play, it still does nothing because we've never assigned the camera as active and that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so before we actually do any code, we're actually gonna click here on the first person camera and click use pawn control rotation. This will just solve all the rotation problems that we'll have if we just change without doing this. And also we're gonna search for auto activate on the first person camera and disable it and make sure it's enabled on the third person one. So off the start of the game, we'll have the third person camera activated and we won't have the first person camera activated. That's why we've just clicked that. Okay, we could actually go into our event graph now and actually do some code. So we need to assign these two cameras to two different states. So I'm just gonna disconnect this here, drag out a started and we're gonna search for a branch. You can just drag out and press B. Now the branch is asking for a condition. So we're gonna get the uh, third person camera 
and drag it in while holding control that'll get it and then we're going to search for is active so if the first sorry if the third person camera is active then we'll do the true line of code if not we'll do the false so let's drag out the first person camera and we'll set as active click new active and there we go so basically what we've done here we're checking if the third person camera is active and if it is we'll set it as the first person camera so we'll set that to active and then we also need to disable the third person camera so if the third is active we're basically going to switch it to the other one <laughs> now click compile and play oops now i'm pressing the key now and it's not doing anything and that is because i've got set active on the third person camera as active and that should not be the case so if we do it now and press the V key, look at what we got. We have a camera, but we obviously have some problems. Now when I'm pressing it again, it's not switching back. And obviously we need to do the false line of code, that's why. And also the, the rotation on the camera is a little bit messed up, so we'll sort that as well. So let's just copy these two nodes and plug them straight into false. Just like this, and just like this. Connect these up in the middle. And compile and play. Now when we press V, it'll do the same as before and it is not working. Okay. Okay, so I did find the error. I had them the wrong way around. So let's just connect them up again. Drag them over here and then reconnect them. Make sure to switch the active states like this. We can compile and now we can play. And when we press V, it'll switch to first person. And we press V again and it'll switch back to third person. So that is working. But we still have a messed up rotation on our, on our first person camera. Just like this, this is what I'm talking about. This should not be happening. Okay, so to fix this little problem, I'm just gonna drag out this and search for use control rotation yaw and make that enabled. We're gonna duplicate it by pressing control and D on our keyboard and disable it for the false value. So we're gonna enable it on the first person camera and disable it on the third person camera. And this is what it looks like. So we can switch through, one click of a button, we can run around, it looks pretty good. And then we can switch back and it'll change the use control rotation yaw back to disabled when we go into third person. So that just about wraps it up and that is a fast and simple way you can change cameras inside of Unreal Engine just with one click of a button. I hope you found this interesting, I hope you learned something new and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.